Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for taking a little time out of your day to watch the video. Man, I have been going a thousand miles an hour today. I got home and uh, we had the, the big gate on our uh, double hinged gate on our uh, yard gate was broke. So I had to spend all morning fixing that. I've been working on fish the moment lake map breakdowns in between. I've been running errands, getting ready to go to the gym. Got to get back and do more fish the moment lake map breakdowns. Got to pick Elijah up and uh, just going to try to squeeze it today, this afternoon's video in here for, for in, well, I've got a couple seconds here. But today, guys, I'm going to give you um, some really good 50-year-old tips on what I've learned about jig colors a little bit. Now, we've talked about this a little bit before. We, we, I've, I've gone in a lot of different detail as far as jig configurations, why I use live rubber, trailers, that type of stuff, colors. But what I want to do in today's video is I want to show you guys my jig box here of the block of old school jigs. And I'm going to give you specific situations when I like to use these. I mean, specifically what I'm looking for. I mean, we talked a little bit in generalities before about water clarities and that type of stuff. But I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I've got four or five colors here when I use them and why. Now, another thing about this is um, the, when you're talking about a jig color, a lot of it depends on the color of trailer you match with that jig. Because it, depending upon the color of trailer that you use and even dyes on that trailer, you can create a completely different look, but it, for, and but that would be an hour long video to go on to, into this. But for the, for the sake of it, I'm just going to I'm going to talk about my favorite colors and, and give you specific examples of when I use them. And also, guys, if you guys are interested in any of the block and old school jigs that I'm going to talk about here today, I'll include the Baitworks link in the description where you can order them. Uh, we got everything up and running again. Thank you, everybody out there that's been ordering them. And it's one of the best ways you can support the channel, what we're doing here, to order some of the jigs off the Baitworks link. So much appreciated. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you guys my favorites. And I'm going to go through and tell you specifically when I use these colors. So let's let's start out here with the uh, the black and blue tinsel here. Now, this is the black and blue tinsel, a block and old school jig here. Now, the black and blue tinsel, a lot of, black and blue is probably one of the favorite, most common favorite jig colors of, that people use out there everywhere. But 99% of the people use a silicone skirt, black and blue silicone. This right here, the old school jig, it's living rubber and it's got tinsel in it. Guys, the tinsel is the key right here. The tinsel is something that will generate strikes when a traditional black and blue won't simply because of the flash in there. It puts out a look and a flash of the glow of the black rubber and the flash of the blue tinsel like nothing other. And guys, the time that I use the black with blue tinsel is specifically when I'm pitching and flipping around wood. I don't use this thing if I'm pitching and flipping around docks, or I mean, excuse me, uh, rocks or grass or bare banks or anything like that. To me, the black with blue tinsel in there is if I'm flipping like flooded bushes, flooded willow trees, lay down logs, all that type of stuff. It's a good color for flip, flip, flipping out around wood. And it be it surprises you um, because the uh, water visibility is pretty uh, diverse on this. You can catch them in four inches of visibility and I've caught them down to four foot of visibility. I, I, I led a Bassmaster Top 150 at um, uh, Lake Old Hickory one, one time up there. I had almost 20 pounds the first day of that Top 150 tournament, and I was flipping laydowns with a black blue tinsel, and the water clarity was four feet in, in visibility. So they'll hit this in a lot of different ranges, but this is my wood color, black and, black and blue tinsel. Now the next one uh, <coughs> with that is um, the black and chartreuse. Now this is, we talked about this before, this doesn't get used much. Guys, the black and chartreuse, I've talked about it a little bit before in a video last week. It's a big fish color. You don't get many bites on the black and chartreuse, but the ones you get on them are quality fish. The black and chartreuse jig, to me, there's two situations I like this jig in. I like it when I'm fishing early in the year around rocky banks and bluffs. This is a great color to pitch and flip bare banks. Like if you got bluffy banks uh, or chunk rock banks, channel banks in the early time of the year when the water temperature is in the 50s, this black jig is a really, black and uh, chartreuse jig is really good pitching it and flipping it around rock, that type of stuff. The second time that I use a black and chartreuse jig is around boat docks in dirty water. 
if I'm fishing in, if I'm fishing around docks that have water visibility of less than say you know 15 inches guys there's not a better color jig than the black and chartreuse jig to get bit around dirty water docks specifically if you're fishing around shallow docks it can be floating docks piling docks whatever like that but uh docks and rocks is, is the black and chartreuse that i'll use there now the next one we'll talk about is another one of my favorite is the brown with orange and you've seen me talk about this a lot because this is one of my favorite colors guys Brown and orange is the top, it's the top color that you can use this time of year. When the water temperature is between, the, it, and this is a big water temperature color, when that water temperature is between like 50 to 57 degrees and the fish are in the pre-spawn, not another bait out there better than black and, uh, excuse me, brown and uh, uh, orange rubber like this. This is specifically a rock color. I don't use this around wood. I don't flip it in around laydowns. I don't flip it around docks. I don't flip it in flooded bushes. I fish it exclusively around rock. And the rock, like I said, it can be a lot of different stuff. It can be just a chunk rock bank. It can be bluffs. It can be a variety of rock. But, but I'm looking to fish it around rock because this is the color crawfish that uh, that are on the lake a lot of times during the pre-spawn. So one of my favorite things to do with the, black, with the brown and orange is to flip it around, you know, steep banks, bluffy type banks, that type of stuff. And water clarities again, anywhere between uh, one to four foot is good there. And the final one I'll talk about, you know, we've got eight colors in the old school jig, but I'm just gonna show you guys my favorite. The final one I'm gonna talk about is the straight brown just a, just a straight brown setup here and this is the one i was using up at lake of the ozark some here but anyway guys the straight brown is one of the top it's one of the top colors that you can use um, in a variety of situations when the water is a little bit cooler now i use the brown in the spring time of the year and in the fall time of the year that's the that's the main times i use it and to me a solid brown jig when I'm thinking solid brown, I'm thinking about water temperatures in the 50s. It doesn't matter if they're in the 50s in the spring. It doesn't matter if it's in the 50s in the fall. But when you've got 50 to 60 degree water, a solid brown jig is an excellent lure. And it can, be, it can work in a variety of conditions. I don't do that good around flooded cover with it. But it's really good when you're flipping uh, laydowns with it, when you're flipping rocky banks with it that type of stuff. It's really a good color if you fish a river. If you guys fish any type of river sections, all you dudes out there that fish the Coosa River in Alabama, not a better color than that right there. If you've got laydowns on the bank and wood, a brown jig when the water's in the 50s is the number one color. And uh, it's just a really good color for, for those situations in there. So anyway, guys, that's just a quick overview of, of the color of jigs I use there. I'll talk a little bit more where there's four other colors we make in the old school jig. And I'll go over it in detail in some other later time. But just wanted to throw that out there. We'll do a lot more stuff on jigs. We'll get into trailer colors. I'll do some videos on dyes, that type of stuff moving forward. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll check y'all later. See you.